Once again, good morning and welcome back. It's still the Break Africa reaching you from Studio Sanya on the city. Now, uh, this morning we'll be uh, talking on love. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, so what better topic are we talk about this morning except for love? You know, when it comes to love, we have the love languages, we have, and uh, love particularly comes with its pros and cons. And we have uh, several Uru in the house with us as we discuss the topic of love as regarding Valentine. Welcome on the Break Africa. Sir. Thank you for having me. Good music. morning, and thank, thank you for Angela. joining us. Well, happy Valentine to you. So. Same to you, same to you. <laughs> I mean, you're looking all red. Ah, it's not all oh, Valentine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, happy Valentine season of love. Mm -hmm. I hope you are sharing one today. I, I guess we I are. was asking this again. Yeah. 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 But sharing. I think he's more religious Christ, now. He, I, he's he's Christ, going with the Ash Wednesday. Oh. So he's not celebrating oh. Valentine's oh. Day. Oh. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> no one is falling into church, I beg. Let's go go to church. Anyways, briefly before we delve deep into relationship talks, love talks, and how love actually should be shared, first of all, why do you think uh, uh, Valentine is actually celebrated? I mean, some people out there do not really get to know what Valentine is all about. So, can you okay. brief us on it? Uh, Valentine is season of love, and according to historical part of it, they said, uh, I don't know, actually, this is history. It's passed from generation to generation that a reverend father whose name was Valentine was loved and all that. So after his death, they keep using that particular date to celebrate him. So from there, other persons, they don't even know what, how the origin is. Normally, Valentine is for you to share love with someone. It doesn't have to go physical that in a way that has to be sexual or anything. Mm. Just love. Just tell someone that, oh, today, I'm using today to show that. I appreciate you. You are kind to me. Like Ezekiel can actually buy me shower man. Exactly. So you can get me ice cream, a so bucket of ice cream yeah. and cheese. Alright, alright. So, right. so, oh, I love shower man. So you went. <laughs> so you don't say why you love shower man. This is shower man for you. Happy birthday time. Angela, oh, this is for you. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Just a day, just like the same way we celebrate Christmas. We use that period to celebrate Christ. This period is just for love. It is I set out to celebrate love. But so people misquote it and use that day to do all that thing but historically it's a christian way so it's love in christ so they use that opportunity to celebrate it but now we celebrate it with the way we imagine how what love, love is, is to us so when i talk about the time it's actually the way you feel love is that is the same way you celebrate it if love to you is to go and skydive that is love for you. I can't do that if I don't trust my village people. <laughs> it's love for me to be intimate with someone or maybe it just can't do and there. Fine. If love to you is to go to club, if love for you is gift, which we actually uh, appreciate more in this part of the world, Nigerian girls know we love gifts very well. A lot. Our love language is money and gifts. So, <laughs> so depending the way you see love, that's how you celebrate it. So the way the way you celebrate someone on this, they actually show how much you love the person and how much you value the person. Mm. But words also is very important. Allowing this person to know that oh i celebrate you i love you you are important in my life I, those are very very important words to me are special but physical one too is more special as in we love <laughs> with action <laughs> get together happy valentine's day so as it came don't just use words today use action I, I i will try i will try right, i will use you. actions to serve my god yeah yeah i will give to the church you know, uh -uh. You know for the things of how about us? So I think I, indirectly saying he doesn't love us, yeah. So you don't even appreciate in, us in, in her any words. Way. You know, she made mention of using words and appreciating someone. So I love you, Angela. I love you, Sarah. And I love God <laughs> more. Now, <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> back to the question. Um, <laughs> You know, people tend, to, you know, like you said, you know, it's, it's a matter of love, and you know, people tend to actually show love every day. Of but course. really, sometimes I wonder what makes this day special. And uh, I don't know if it's just with Nigeria or it happens abroad. It, there was this peculiarity as to it has to be a gift. You know, people just believe you have to put on that red. You it has know, to be has to be, to, yeah. The, Candle has to be on, you know, uh, mm -hmm. sweet blues going on, background yeah. flowers everywhere. Okay. And if it's not that, then it cannot be love and it cannot oh, be can love. No, I mean, why is that? You, you, when, when you are married to someone, let's go into the other part of it. Without talking about junior. In fact, as a parent, you love your children, right? 
you love your spouse every day you love them there's no day you don't love them are you getting what i'm saying as long as you wake up as a parent you love your child your, your love is endless just that the same way christ love was is endless but this day is just a day that is set aside to say today is our anniversary in marriage you love your spouse yeah you are in, in, in a marriage with somebody you value this person every day every day is not your anniversary there's a particular day that is set aside we have boyfriend's day we have men's day we have mother's day we love our mothers we celebrate them every day but there's a day set aside for mother's day same day set aside for lover's day i get seen in love by the time love day celebration of love so it's just a day that is set aside it doesn't mean that you don't love this person throughout the year you don't love this person january you don't love the person february you don't love the person march you don't even some person they fight on valentine's day and they make up after valentine's so <laughs> it does not mean that you don't love that person it's just a narrative that is created around this so because of the pressure of the society that day when you are when you don't receive your gift or when your spouse don't give you that affection that day you feel the person doesn't love you but it's not all to be so if that person does not have money that day to celebrate you, there are other days that person can actually celebrate you. Candle can be light any day. Flowers can be bought any day. Money can be transferred any day. But if you feel that that day, because that day is so special, it has to be that day. It has to be done. Oh, because I'm seeing my friend and all that, they are receiving that. You cannot receive. Because, because of those pressure, it actually make your spouse or your friend feel bad that you don't appreciate them. Not necessarily that they don't know that you love them. So you as a person too, maybe on Valentine's Day in the office, you see everyone receiving gifts and you don't receive gifts. We are humans. You feel somehow. I don't know. I, f I will feel somehow when I see everybody receiving gifts. Like even if I'm not talking about relationship, I'm just talking about general terms. Everybody is receiving gifts. I feel like, wow, for me not to receive gifts, it means that I, I maybe I might have done something wrong wrong people are oh yeah, i'm different. not loved you understand so just a season of love even when you buy someone sweet just to show that i love you just it's not really the the whole that every day can celebrate me just that that day it, people ju you just feel it's special because we are humans so when people say they need to give that day i won't criticize them seriously i won't criticize them because i myself i don't get gifts and i'm in such an environment that everybody's getting gifts i'll feel somehow not that is right though i'm just saying that the feeling of a human being and the feeling of me being a woman <laughs> <laughs> all right still regarding this issue i mean when it comes to love i i believe that love has also evolved over time just as the world itself has evolved yeah. so if you may compare uh, love as uh, back then those are great grandfather's days mm -hmm. and then currently will you say that love has would i say grown in a positive direction or not okay i would say it has grown um negative because um, let me use my environment while growing up love wasn't this materialistic this is the amount of love you get is the amount you contribute to the relationship mostly on the may the may folks like i'm not saying that the may folks then the wearing providing but the pressure these days is actually so much that if you are not providing you are it's like you're not a man it's like you don't deserve to be loved because you can't provide Sometimes I look at the men and I'm like, whoa, I don't want to become a man because the pressure is actually too much on them. You have to have a car. You have to have this one. There are so many standards, so many rules. You see a girl writing rules, a like hundred rules of what a guy is going to give her. But you don't, you as a lady, what are you going to give in returns? Are you getting what I'm saying? But, but these days, I'm actually happy that the guys... They are actually up to their standard this day. They think very well. If you don't have anything to bring to the table, to even you as a woman, they can't even date you. Because that's go both ways now. So I am really happy that the, the Nigerian guys now, some of them actually are accepting this <laughs> almost not 50. I don't like that 50 shot, but almost you have to bring something to the table. Well, on behalf of the boys, I say thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> no, I, I always speak. I have four brothers, so I, I know I understand understand the view of men like you can't just weigh love because this is the amount of things you give to me some persons are in toxic relationship receiving beating everything um cheating abuse verbal abuse everything nagging fighting but as long as there is money they are ready to stay 
But if the, if the guy is like a little broke, they can't take those activities, then that is when you know that, oh, I have to fight for my rights. This guy doesn't love me. I know that they start talking. But when money is involved, they just close their eyes and let those things go. So it's really not fair to the male folks in the society because your pocket is way. Okay, then, in the, like what I've seen then, at least growing up, I used to see my aunties, they were dating them. So maybe sometimes the guys will just come, buy them powder, buy them soap, <laughs> buy them perfume, white powder. They might be so happy, carrying white, enjoy soap then. So she was like a big girl because of those things the guy used to bring to them then. So it shows that right from time men has been providing for women even in the old days like the old one that i've not even know my granny used to tell me then that she was a full-time housewife that the husband was always going to farm bringing food and everything to them so it means that the male force has actually been providing for them but the women were appreciative of this so she, our responsibility then was that she's going to stay at home she's going to take care of the home she will cook she will clean she will take care of everything then she still have her store at the front of the house still using that one to bring small Income. money into this but these days you know our bodies now they just want to be mm. fine they don't they won't have help you take care of the, the to take care of the tree why the husband go out to work so it's really no balance it's like a selfish art you understand in our society then you see that those powder those soap that the men will bring the women they are appreciative and that's the same way we still have some girls in society that are, when you are working hard they know they know that oh you your own source of income is genuine the little thing you give to them they appreciate it there are still some like that but generally more the way the way i've seen it this day the narratives have been passed across that you the more you have money the more i should respect you the more i should love you the more i should be loyal to you it means that you are not actually loyal to this person you are loyal to the money coming when the money is not there the loyalty is gone mm -hmm. so that is why you, i have seen today that finding love is actually the scary out it's actually scary out. why the guys they want to love you for uh, oh you have a big booty you have everything like that's what i want as long as you have that and you are looking good don't worry i'll spend money on you but it's actually it's to you it's your own fantasy that is what you are building on but when these things start going down when the when the standing heroes start falling and you start seeing this person in a different way will the love still be there it won't be there anymore when this person that you see that oh this figure a shape is on point everything and this person start giving birth and everything start going start look, losing the, the shape the and everything in motherhood they are not <coughs> able to take care of themselves every day going for this appointment they can't even go every time again would the love still be there by then if you if you can't find this on this person again then you start going out yeah the women might want to keep up doing everything but sometimes it's not easy to keep up because when you are single and you are doing things it's easier when you have kids even if you have help sometimes as a mother that you are more emotionally attached to your children so this can affect you because sitting down okay oh be pretty for me i know that it has it's not good it's not love the love has to come like it's a connection understanding as long as we are not going to have that in society today it's just going to be like a trade i'm here because of your body i'm here because of your money so when these two things are not there then the relationship is being tested I, I really uh, tend to wonder, but uh, from what you're saying, it's more like at some point, um, love is no more to perfection. It's more, uh, more like mutual interest. Yes. Yeah. If, we are, uh, if, if our interests are aligned, yes. they will actually come together. Yes. I tend to wonder what then would one actually look out for, say, in a relationship? Because at this point, it's more like even potential is not enough. You know, potential, and everybody has potential. We all have a dream, but I guess yeah, what you have. Everybody has potential. Everyone has a dream, anyways. No, no, no. Because <laughs> some people don't have dreams. When you talk to some persons, then you just lose interest immediately because what whatever is coming out from their mouths, you just for what will eat this meaning. So, what should one be looking out for in a relationship? Is it more I'll like if our interests are aligned and then we're good to go, or what exactly should one be looking out for? Firstly, your interests should align in the, in with the way our society is built this day. Our interests, first of all, has to align. Because if I don't go into the same direction, I don't think I don't think we should ever even start anything. We can be friends, we'll be on distance. Yeah, we'll be talking. But relationship, this this with emotions, this with commitment, time, management. So our our goal, our plan has to align first of all. I get what I'm saying. Yeah. That's to align. That is the first step. Then when it's aligned, then what are your dreams? Okay, let's say okay, I plan on staying in Lagos now. 
oh okay i'm planning on going to lagos we are working towards that goal. what are what are your dreams then how are you going to actualize this dream there are some guys then by the time they tell you their dreams today me i'm a lover of dream but if they are telling you their dreams today when i was growing up then i used to see those ah whoa you have a vision i love that about people intelligent people but sometimes i started growing i started realizing that some of them they don't know how to actualize it they just have plan plan big plan i'm going to have this house i'm going to have this i'm going to have this bench then how are you going to actualize it are you going to just be saying it just keep saying it. just me there's no plan that oh with so so um with um from january to june this is the first step i'm going to make social application to social um, uh, companies okay if this application doesn't work out i have a plan to do this i have other business plan behind okay if this business plan is not going to work i have another uh, job opportunity this way i get seen so they have to be planned even if okay if someone wants to settle down with you that oh okay you, you are not self-made already but your plans first of all have to have direction and that direction how are you going to actualize it because every day there's inflation things are going up i won't stay for someone that doesn't have anything to bring i've worked hard on my own way to be here i won't come and meet you and all, all what you are speaking to me is how your vision your dreams everything like acre money that movie it wasn't easy i didn't blame her are you getting me mm. your vision is so bright i'm seeing it i just saying it at some, at some point you'll be saying it and it will become noise when there is no positive result to show you become you know, some some pray they will stay and they will pray and pray my father my father when you are praying there is no way to actualize it then how are we going to see the reality of it that is why well, some of them when you stay with these people sometimes and the dreams actually come to pass they go for the for the for the other options they have it's just like you are, you are a second option in the first place so these are the reasons why you see some person that's so scared to stay with you this or this this guy are you sure that because of that that's curiosity you see that women you know we women we think very fast we think like the moment you are here now i'm already thinking many things about you right now <laughs> 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 so we think very fast as you are even talking there are so many things that are still going on in, within our mind so because of that there are many distractions you see that they they live immediately they want someone that is already built because you might be splitting oh i have a dream i have this one but there's no way to actually so we have to see that in you test of form that there's a progress in your career development there's no progress i don't think i can i would, I would love to settle down with you for that because i'm not ready to be buying a uh, baby food in my house <laughs> <laughs> when my mom will be there on computer every day saying that there's a dream there's a dream that your dream i have to know that this dream is going to work if it's not going to work then no anyways um today's topic is quite interesting when you talk about love language and practice mm. understanding and celebrating differences on valentine's day now this captured me because truly <laughs> i think um uh, years and years coming forward uh, you you notice relationships aside the fact that the funny part where some people tend to um have issues all of a sudden when valentine is coming mm -hmm. due to the fact that they are running away from one <laughs> responsibility <laughs> or the other or another aspect where there is a lack of understanding in a relationship now this is another focus that um i think many people have actually gotten wrong out there what is your point what was your view on this point first of all many many relationship end on valentine's day and after valentine's day if at february most relationship ends february most relationship i they, 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 i saw this post on a um, tiktok this video and the guy was like if no matter what your boyfriend do to you this period don't break up with him <laughs> don't break up is a plan he <laughs> said she the guy was saying that is a plan ladies be wise don't break up with anybody don't break up that they will come back much to come and apologize don't break up with anybody so guys do that i actually thought it was a joke at first but i actually started asking some guys are this thing really real like do people watch? they said yes they said yes that they just want to that day that they just want to arrest that week after that week then they'll come back same thing happens in december 
like just curious <laughs> <mass. laughs> <laughs> but i feel that i feel that it's actually a staging person or an immature person that will have that kind of mentality if you are with someone that is very demanding and the person can actually understand that oh this period i can't provide what you need for you because of that you have to leave that person and you have to come back again to that person i feel you are you're not supposed to be with that person in the first place first of all you should be in a relationship with someone that understands you someone that understands that someone that won't pressurize you so much that it will push you to the edge are you getting me yeah there's a way that you are pushing someone to be better not that you are pushing someone to do whatever it takes for me for you to just buy me a gift that day know that you shouldn't try like i said that, that if i see everybody receiving gift and i'm not receiving i might feel bad uh, yeah of course i will feel bad not mind i will feel bad so you, you in your own little way provide what you can provide for that person so if imagine i get you something and then that day you throw it away that is not it's not enough for this thing you can't feel disappointed it's not man when you see some gift you see a very big boss then now open it what is inside is a is a bossa <laughs> it's bossa and singlet you can feel disappointed you might just like oh thank you but deep down you are you're like god oh, what kind of gift is this you might feel disappointed but at that moment you appreciate the gesture that this person having in mind not when they, if i realize that you have and you don't want to give to me i'll exactly. be angry i know that you are a staging person i hear but if that you give me something that day i will be happy that you, there's, a, there's there's this intention that you want to show that take this is what i have this moment okay that period might not be a period that you have you're financially um, stable you as a girl or as a, a girl you can actually explain to your spouse that oh babe i don't i have enough this period though but please manage this i accompanied this gift with a beautiful letter are you getting a beautiful letter that when this person is reading this letter it will calm this person down first of all if i go with the letter first let the letter at the end of the letter write that this is what i can afford right now that there is a dream tomorrow a day, a day is coming that i'm going to buy you a car i'm going to buy you a house i'm going to buy you that bag and those wigs you need see if that girl is actually a good girl she her mind will calm down seriously i might all buy her one buy her food first <laughs> 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 i might will calm down you understand there, there are ways not that you because you don't have oh i'm broke this period then just drop the gift and just leave that there's a there's a way you actually communicate this then there are some that even if you write that letter mm. you write everything they will still get angry they will see even that gift they even can even smash that gift on the ground then you know that this person ah is above my league let me go with someone that is on my league it's mm. better sometimes that you stay on someone that you can actually build your lifetime with so the understanding plays a very important role, and the way you communicate it for this person to understand you to is another way mm. to make it work because there are some ways that it, like girls now most guys don't get valentine's gift and you wonder why they are still happy they are still happy with their life because we guess we are very very fond you can just go oh be happy valentine's day just one dance the guy will just start laughing and you give you gifts the girl will not receive you still be okay because there's, there's this way that we we understand the emotions we know how to play with that emotions and just know that this is what you like maybe someone can just buy you food or anything you cook one good for that guy that day you know that is that food is the way to the guy's stomach or to the guy's That's mind so you just make that person happy that day at the end of the day the purpose of that day just to make sure that you show someone that i appreciate you and i love you that is the most important thing if you feel that is a bad gift 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 that means you don't know the purpose of valentine's day which is love then you are missing the purpose mm. because you are thinking that gift is just the only way out someone can buy you a gift but the person does not love you it's very possible mm. so that is my own idea of the understanding part well, let's talk about relationship just a bit i know we're almost out of time but, mm -hmm. uh, but do you think every relationship has to lead to marriage or you could just enjoy uh, yourself for the time being you know say you not you all like relationships should lead to marriage mm -hmm. seriously not all i was i was on a um, forecast some days back and i was just saying the same thing not all relationships should lead to marriage but you making the other person in your relationship understands the states is better so that both of you can have that in mind there will, there's all called friends with benefits there's situationship then there's a relationship then there's partnership then there's courtship 
Are you getting me? These are stages. Stages before you get to that marriage. Okay, if he's friends with benefit and we are aware, we are both adults. We are living the life, we are enjoying our life. When you travel, oh, bye, bye. Okay, when we see you again next December, we are back. Do you think it's, it's ideal? Do you think it's okay? If, it's, if, you, if it makes you happy, it's okay. People have done it and they are happy with their life. You think marriage is the only way to life? Marriage is not the only way to life. You can be as well be single and be happy with your life and be living your life and be happy and be fulfilled. This is 20, 2024. So it's not, <laughs> this is 21st century. It's not, it's not then, you understand? So if it makes you happy that you can be friends, you benefit this person, you're enjoying your situation, you are an adult, enjoy your life. In essence, you just do what makes you happy. I mean, do what makes you happy. But mm. if in that case, but at some point, my uh, emotion might be involved and this person might be feeling attached and all that. But at least at the beginning, you made it clear that this was what we were. I get him. No one is going to hold it against you. Even your own karma will not hold it against you that you promise this person marriage and you are not marrying this person. There are some pe friends I have, they know that they are not going to get married to those, those persons that they are dating just for cruise. That is what they are for, there for. But if you are just there that, you, oh, you are pro promising this person that, oh, we are going to have beautiful children. Oh, you already named this person Sam and Kat, this one and that one. You are already making this person have this this dream in their head and at the end of the day uh, you break up with this person that two weeks later your invitation card is already out that means as we are there you're using this person to while away time while you already have other plans so making this person understand it and you yourself knowing that this person has told me that i'm not going to get married to you have it in your mind emotion remove your emotion put it at the back of your mind if you are going to stay if you are going to stay there, ha remove it. Remove it. Mostly girls are ready to them. Why are you? Why are you attached? Why are you attached to this person? It's already obvious that this person does not want you. You are still there, putting your head inside. So it's for you to just communicate as an adult, mature people. Communication. I say I love communication. Eh? I ask questions. Oh, what? What? Where are we going? Where are we going? Hey, if you're not going you go, oh, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. How many more? Still, more, still, four more. Oh, let's go. Oh, we want to go on vacation. Okay, now. Nah, let's be happy. <laughs> Yay. Everybody party. After everything, after, go your house. Don't, don't do, don't do. I want to be serious in my life. So, let, just have that kind of mind. You won't get disappointed at the end of the day. But those ones that will lie to you, those ones, eh, ha, they're karma. They're coming. <laughs> they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. All right. Um, when it comes down, bringing the issue of love down to people around you, your friends, your family. Mm. Now, th there's this um, ideology sometimes that um, families sometimes don't get to appreciate each other as much as they should. Mm -hmm. And um, probably you, you tend to want to appreciate those who are out there more than uh, people who are around you or trying to uh, or who are people who are always at having your back so w what do you think of this scenario <laughs> okay everybody have their own ideas of family but to me family is someone that i i rely on family is someone that that i trust and family is someone that is only there for me. That's family to me. Family is not blood to me. I always tell my family. When I tell them, they get angry. <laughs> they get angry. Maybe when you see this too, they will get angry. <laughs> the family is not blood to me because I, all my life, I've actually have families and these people are not from my family. Like, I mean, they're family by blood. Mm. They are friends that have been there since ages. And they, what family have not done for me, they've done it for me. These are people that I appreciate so much. Even on Valentine's Day, say, if it's for me to even go and buy flowers and say, say thank you, I will do that without looking back. But there are some families that we see. I, I'm like, whoa, ah, I like this family. Do you want to adopt anybody? I want to come into this. You see the love in the family. They are into each other. They are calm. Everybody's okay. My own house, you see quarrel. Everybody's <laughs> shouting. <laughs> Everybody shouting. So at the end of the day, I love my siblings. I love them very well. That love with your siblings can never be taken away. It's there, it's there, it's there, it's nature. Your parents, your siblings, that love is there. No matter how you try to take it, it will matter the fight and everything. But I actually crave that, oh, I wish we were this close. I wish we were this, this, I wish we were this, that. So when I see family love, it's, it's genuine. 
is genuine because at the, at the, even after that anger, after that this, oh, why did you do this? Why did you do this? Deep down, when that person apologize to you like this, say, if even if you, ah, no, no, by the time you are going like this, say, like, ah, that's your brother, you're that conscious, like, that's your brother, that's your brother, okay, don't stop talking to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that, that love is there, no matter how, how, how hard Satan tries or had many difficulties, that love is there. And even when you are away, you even love them more. No siblings. When you are away, like you start thinking about the memories you share and everything. So family love uh, to me is genuine. It's genuine because friendship sometimes it can be transactional. Some friendship is because of the way you have been there for me, I've been there for you, buy me this, you buy mm. me this. But family love is not transactional. It is ordained, it is natural, it came even without your own way so it can never be broken mm. so i uh, even on valentine's day like this is, is, is an opportunity for you to just call your mom your siblings even the one you've not spoken to in five years and say i love you trust me it will still go deep down like sword into their mind so i appreciate family love and i think uh, valentine's day should also be a day set aside no not a set aside it's already a day already set aside a day that we should use to appreciate our loved ones in our family because we don't get to see them every time mm. so and as long as we are alive we have to appreciate them because if anyone died because everybody's going to die one day so we are going to miss them and regret not being close to them so it's a day for us to also appreciate them it's genuine uh, back to what you said earlier, and I was trying to really process. That's why I had to actually calm down for a while. You said oh. something about doing what makes you happy and whatever sort of oh, relationship you are thing. That way. Yes, yes, I actually <laughs> need to meditate on that for a while before I actually okay. pop up. Uh, you said whatever needs, uh, do whatever makes you happy, and then whatever situation you find yourself in relationship wise, hence it makes you happy. Don't you think um, talks are like these things to just give people the, the, the weirdest and saddest idea as a relationship? You know, it just more like make it more contractual, you know. If I'm not okay, I leave it. Then where where then comes commitment? Where there comes patience? Because I know it can be all rosy all through. So it's more like if it's not working right now, then I'm off. You know, yeah. if at the slightest touch of uh, an inconvenience, I'm off. I don't mm. think a marriage or anything a long lasting will actually will be free from challenges and hurdles. Mm. So don't you think uh, uh, theologies as this tend to give out just the wrong impression? I if you actually listen to me very well when I was talking, I said being in this i say I, I mentioned different relationship i mentioned partnership i mentioned relationship you made mention of situation i mentioned i mentioned mean, a situation i mentioned friends with benefit and i mentioned courtship then i mentioned marriage i said it is stages in life and i said in a um, uh, friends with benefit or situation that making the person involved knowing that this is our direction like i said that in every relationship when in fact when a man and a woman come together if and when you come with a man a man and a man come together a friendship there is a goal there was something that brought you together in the first maybe you are just drinking ah bros i like that your shade everybody just thought ah my guy that was where that was where you guys the words attract you that shit maybe oh, this, this person's fashion sense now saying before that in situationship offense with benefit if it makes you happy be there with that person because this person has already made you understand that this is what i want this moment not everybody wants commitment is that really ideal if is it's that, ideal yeah is, is that if right it, is that it's right because they are they are being sincere with you is there everybody that will marry you no this and no peace so why would you this actually thing? engage or be in a, in in a trap with someone you know no. there is no foreseeable oh God, future there's the care it's not a trap okay listen why, wh what I was saying before was that being genuine, being genuine, that was what I was saying. Making this person understand that, oh, at this moment, uh, is about my career. This is my career. This is what, my career is my husband, is my boyfriend, is my father, is my mother right now. I need to be a manager of social company. This is what I need to do. I'm into tech. I need to be up in this thing. That is all I need this moment. That as long as you are here right now, I'm not thinking about setting it down with anybody. Have you seen cases like that? You're telling this person that I'm not thinking of maybe along the line, maybe people you guys are doing course together, then emotions start setting. You are, you are not trying to tell this guy that, bro, keep this emotion aside. This is not what I need right now. I need to focus on my academy. I need to focus on this plan that I'm going. I need to fo focus on this career. That I'm not in this this thing now. The girl cannot say, ah, me too. I'm not in this one right now. I'm really focused on my own career too. 
okay let's just day let's just be having fun we go out together we drink we eat together that moment whenever we are sad are you are you at home okay come and eat everybody just i don't know whatever you want to do that makes you happy that moment you just going for the mate sign we already made this person understand that the guy is not passing this stage it happens like that it's a do but sometimes after that stage we can actually go to another stage where it's possible <laughs> <laughs> because some person fall in love after that stage to another stage and they even have a beautiful home but at that moment you are being sincere with that person that we are not passing this stage and you are the other person involved you have it in mind that you are not passing this stage because do not allow your emotion that was what i was saying before that when you're talking about sadness sadness come when you are not attached to that person do you think there's ever a point where one's emotion could not be attached in a relationship of course think so. you think so yeah all right okay all right <laughs> you don't know uh, uh, your emotion is very easy are you attached already i'm, I'm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. trying okay. to okay. 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 Do not be attached <laughs> calm down there's nothing but we are just talking <laughs> 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 so it happens it happens you see some white folks they like they've been they've been dating for 14 years 14 years they are dating they have money to get married they have cars they have everything but they, are, they don't want they don't want that word marriage they just want to be there boyfriend and girlfriend dating that is what they want because the word marriage scared them away they can be there for years 40 years 50 years nothing will happen to them but the moment they will get married like this and that tension the society this is what you should do this is why you should do me have you noticed that i don't know if you have had such experience i've had such experience that you have been friends with someone before you are okay you are living your life no no emotions involved but the moment you start dating like this thing you will find out that every day you are quarreling with that person why because you your expectation of being a friend with that person is not different that you are now my boyfriend and i see you differently now i want you to be responsible i want you to come home early because i'm trying to picture you that one day you are going to be my husband <laughs> are you getting my if you can maybe we are friends so i'll be ah, okay, where are you they say i'm just at the bar i say by 10 o'clock ah this boy you like enjoyment or we'll just just stay back by the time you are my boyfriend you are at the bar by by 10 and i'm at home who is with you are you are you where are you why are you outside by this time when i'm at home you're not coming out ah why now you are that kind of this thing emotion is not involved you start guiding this person some people don't want that emotion i don't want anybody to monitor me some guys are like that some girls too are like that. i don't want anybody to monitor i just want to be single i just want to enjoy my life and they are living their life happily marriage is not the best way in this 21st century to define a happy life if some person because some person just feel that marriage is just says that is what some person picture in their head that marriage at the end of the day if i can get sex from friends um, friends and be, um, friends with benefits situationship so what is now in marriage do i even not see people adopting dogs they just have that dogs are their children they don't want anything this is 21st century so when, so what i was trying to say before was that allowing this person to know the goal now he gets him the destination like there should be an end to every partnership as long as you are meeting with somebody there's a beginning and there is a progress and there's an end so are you allowing this person to know that this is what i want this minute this is what i want this is what i want is better so it's, there's nothing sad about it there's nothing hot for you but it's just for you to know that you are meeting somebody that at the same time both of you are at the same level and you understand the person have this maturity to take it there's some person that you go and meet right now before you know you tell them that i don't want i don't want this or please go to your heart the person start crying no you, mm -hmm. you have used me before you know your mind you not be feeling like i'm a monster i'm a monster because because both of you are not in the same level you don't have that much before you do something, something like that you have to look at the person first of all that this person is not attachy attachy i get to me but in most cases it end badly that's true it end badly because emotions can just come in please last last <laughs> very fast I'm, I'm, I'm glad you said last last <laughs> anyways <laughs> uh, the last question before we go um i would like to you to explain more and more in detail although in a very short period of time mm -hmm. how invested one could be in a relationship now when i mean a relationship mm -hmm. i don't necessarily mean an affectionate relationship that's between a man and a woman mm. or you know understand so how invested should you be in a relationship and also how do you get to share love okay sharing love first of all 
is let me start with that one sharing love if you don't have love you can't give back love that is the first thing if you are bitter if you are sad if you are if you are rude everything inside you comes out to that person when you have love inside you you give it out easily freely it's like it just flows just like the same way that you see some persons like this and the moment you just see them like every every the atmosphere is beautiful when they when they come inside the room everywhere is just calm everything everywhere is just form this person they are not even doing anything, anything extra because that's who they are there are some person that will just enter this place right now everywhere is tense even if the person is not even your boss or anything they are they are, they are surrounded that their, their body language alone is no is not very calm not that they don't have love i'm just trying to use that one as example so love is something that is inside and you give it out if you don't have love that's that's why some persons these days when you want to get into a relationship with the person then you find out that this person have a childhood trauma those things then you advise this person to go for therapy before before you can officially start something because sometimes they can bring this attitude to come and meet you you that your life is already perfect <laughs> they will bring their own emotional trauma um, it, um maybe from home parents beating maybe the, the girl experienced the father beating the mother because of that she has trust issue mm. so she brings these things to your relationship you that have a perfect life maybe your parents will love me then you are trying to love this person this person is not even trying to settle down with you then you start having issues in your relationship so that is why it's better sometimes you go for therapy listen to, if i allow this person first of all build this person before you go into a relationship you don't just meet somebody on the road and say i love you i love you let's start dating you have to monitor this person let's be friends first because from that friendship you start noticing some things that these are the things i can take these are many persons a toxic person a violent person they say ah if my boyfriend do anything like that i will slap him <laughs> i will slap him eh if my boyfriend talk to me and like that say i will beat him like you start noticing this thing. this girl will not look at it that i don't even have strength for fighting <laughs> <laughs> i don't have strength for fighting no i have never fought my own my own uh, gender i would like be fighting a woman or this person tell you something that oh ah there was a time when i was young like this day uh, i have to accuse somebody of rape uh, something like that you start noticing that if anything goes wrong it goes south later in this relationship this person is going to make sure that every way possible to frustrate you so that is why you have before you love someone you have to first of all love yourself you love yourself then you guide yourself towards it because this place that you are going to is a lifetime commitment in the right ways in lifetime commitment so you make sure you guide yourself because after that relationship maybe you, you, the relationship later end up not working then you are going to another relationship that trauma that you got in for that person goes with you to another relationship again so from one relationship to another maybe you have gotten into like seven relationship all the traumas are following you following you following you then you are looking for something one thing or the other that this person does not have this person does not have this person does not have then you have to now come to reality that i have to settle down okay if i want to settle down this is me first of all i have to love myself then i will have to give my this love to someone that actually worth it so who is this person that worth it by your own definition of what love is some persons their own definition of what love is is that i will have to be with my spouse who will smoke for the rest of the day <laughs> that is their own definition of love i just need somebody that will be with me they just smoke they just smoke and get high and they have they have children they will live long they will have perfect relationship like as i say perfect they will have a longer relationship like i don't know if it's perfect i've never been there a longer relationship than you that oh i'm mrs perfect my boyfriend is cute we are this we are this we are going out so that is our own definition of love you what is your own definition of love look for your definition of love go with this person the second um question you asked is that how we invest in a relationship whether emotional or in business friendship and all that first thing if you want to invest in and you invest your love in anything in this life i i always say this and people always uh, guess me first of all guide yourself don't give out everything whether in your marriage or anything, I don't know. That is my own definition. As you care by still know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, when you want to invest your love in anything, in friendship, guide yourself. Because anybody can disappoint you anytime. 
And when these people disappoint you, when you have given all, like your all, your all, and this person disappoints you later, you are just like, the next thing in your mind is that I want to die. Because you don't have anything left again. You feel like you don't have anything left again. You, you feel like you can't be happy again. You feel like you can't move on with your life again. You feel like you can't even prosper again. I can't have business again. Because there are some people you do business with and they just come into your life to just frustrate you. So when you are doing it, have this thing in your mind that, yes, I'm giving it out. At the same time, I'm not losing. You have to love yourself. Like, for, like I said, you have to love yourself for you to love someone. So when you are loving too, don't forget about loving yourself. Because you see some ladies, some women, they are taking care of their husband. Eh? Their husband is shining. When the husband comes out, it's like an angel. When the wife is coming, you'll be like, is this is the mother. They've done everything. They'll shine your shoe, iron your, your clothes, do everything. They prepare. They help you to build yourself. Taking care of the house. Walking or maybe doing anything. Making sure that you are okay. When you come outside, you are like angel. And the woman is looking like a second-hand woman. So, when you are giving her this love, high helping people, or assisting people, you don't forget about yourself. Even it goes with even youth these days when we start working, people start calling you. I was there for you before. Um, even our African parents sometimes can be can be like that. I, I trained you. You're not taking care of me because of that. You just want to work. You just want to take care of your home. You just want to take care of your siblings. You just want to do this. At the end of the day, you don't even have enough to even take care of yourself. So when you are giving it out, don't forget to, to take care of yourself in business, in friendship, in everything, in investment. Because that's why we have contract. Even two business, uh, two friends, two friends are doing business. They have to be contract because things can go wrong anytime, any day. And even friendship. Sometimes you know that some friendship is when you break up with your friend. I'm not talking relationship. When you break up with some of your friends, even hurts more than the guy you were dating before. Because you have invested in this person emotionally. This is your friend. I love this person. This is why I don't like we are doing anything. Kukere. I love this person. <laughs> Genuinely. We have business. We have everything together. This person can just come one day and just look for anything in your body. Oh, you talked to me at the bar. I didn't like the way you talked to me. Blah, blah, blah. You should be like, calm down now, nah, guy. Calm down. Because this person has seen someone else. That is better than you maybe there's another person that have a business idea better than you and the person will go with that person then you will lose then you are not thinking of how you should start all over again this is not even marriage now talking about formal friendship so when you are giving it out don't be carried away because people humans human human beings are like that humans they are like that it's not like maybe this person just sometimes some humans are just like that that is the way they were built that is where they grew up so when you are giving out, don't forget to reserve for yourself. So that is what I have to say. Oh, Ezekiel, do you so have much, more? Oh, no, I guess we're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that's the most perfect line you would have ended it with. Thank don't forget you. yourself. It's very important that, you know, when you're taking care of someone or when you're trying to show love to people. I mean, if, I think even the Bible said it that you should love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> it doesn't mean love your neighbor more than yourself. So please do take care of yourself uh, during this uh, love season. And as well, please do show love to people who you love out there. Show appreciation. I do not mean break your bank, just like Sarah has said. You don't need to break your bank. The, the less you could do to make them happy is enough. Well, thank you for joining us on this episode of Daybreak Africa. From our studios here, we're signing out. And until we come your way again, I'm Angela Daku. You do have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I remain Ezekiel Ogre. Okay.